If you're writing while or for loops in your Python program, you can also include two keywords to help change the behavior of your loops. And one of them is the break statement, which will break out of the loop completely, or the continue statement, which will break out of the current loop iteration and then continue to the next loop iteration, if there is one. And also, it's considered bad practice to use break or continue in your Python program, so they should be avoided. and you should always be able to write your loop in a specific way so that you can avoid using these keywords. But let's just take a look in an example and see how they work just in case you did need to use them. So let's try out the break and continue statement. So let's first create a loop. We'll set count to one while count is less than or equal to 10. Print count and then increment count. Okay, let's run this loop. It should just print out one through 10. And what we could do is we could check if count is equal to five. If that's true, let's just do a break. Okay, don't forget the colon at the end of your if statement. All right, so let's run this now. And what it should do is that once count reaches five in this loop because of this increment statement, it should just break entirely out of the loop and not print out the rest of the numbers. When I run the program now, once it reached five, it stopped printing out the value of five because it incremented after it prints, so it never got to print the number five, and then it stops, and that's it. Let's move this if a little bit higher so the five does print. Oops, let's do it actually after the print, right there. Run it again. Okay, there's the five. All right, cool. Another thing we could do is do a continue instead of a break. And check this out. Oh, infinite loop. So what's happening is that once it's equal to five, it does con continue, so it never increments five. Then it comes back up here and checks as five less than or equal to 10, prints five out, and then it's still five, so it skips, it continues here, and then it checks is it still less than or equal to 10. So five is always gonna be less than or equal to 10, but five is never gonna get incremented to six because the, of this continue right here. So let's stop our infinite loop. And what we could do instead is just um, move it up here. And that's not gonna solve our problem, but we could move it after the increment actually. Right there, then print it. That should do it, I think. All right, here we go. So looks like it kind of got a little weird. So it's incrementing first, and then it's printing. So that's why the two, it starts with two, two, three, four. Then when it got to five, it skipped it, and then it continued with the rest of the numbers. So you can see dealing with break and continue can be errorsome. That's why it's recommended to avoid using them in your program, because there's always a better way to write your looping structures so that you don't have to have break or continue in there. But sometimes it may be necessary or it just might be the easiest route to use break or continue, but make sure you thoroughly test your code and make sure that it still works after adding them.